Hello everybody, it's Joel from Silver Arrow Cars and this gorgeous James Bond inspiring 2006 titanium silver over obsidian black leather Aston Martin DB9 Volante. This is the big V12 front engine Aston is our latest listing and I'm here to show you all the ins and outs of it and give you presentation that you can put together with the videos uh, both of driving and then the photo photos uh, in high def that we've provided for this as well so that you can make a better understanding of your position and your bids on the car this is a great one uh, clean carfax clean history beautiful car all the way around both in condition the way it drives everything the interior Beautiful, beautiful car, uh, and a great history. This was sold new in Florida, I believe in Naples, and then uh, two years later in 2008 was moved to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where um, we have probably one of the best climates for cars. Uh, we do get rain, but sports cars don't usually come out in the rain. Uh, we don't really get snow, uh, and all of our cars up here usually live for years and years. So. Uh, what a great car, and I'm just going to walk you around and show you the condition of it. Uh, first of all, this titanium silver paint, this is very well suited. Reckons, or heck, uh, what was the word I want? It uh, screams to me, James Bond, and still has that iconic big front grille with the shape from the DB4s, DB5s. Uh, I have always had a thing for these cars. I think they have some of the best styling out of all the European manufacturers and the sexiest lines out there. So let's just walk to the front of the car and start with things like the acrylics on the headlights. Very clear, no hazing. They look really good. And then coming across the hood to the other one, same thing. Nice and clear. And then across the hood, normally on any car, especially with this big a nose, this is where you'd see a lot of chipping and peppering across usually the lower part of the bumper. in the grill and on the lower part of the hood where I don't really see much at all. You can see the reflection off our ceiling lights coming across the front of the hood there. There's a little bit. There's one, another one here. One, two, three. It seems to be this side. I'm really not seeing any of that over on the driver's side, beautiful. There's a couple of tiny ones there. Beautiful, beautiful paint. It looks fantastic. Super high gloss. Feels very, uh, I don't know what the word is I wanna use, but very high polish, very high shine. The paint is in extremely good condition. And wrapping around that, moving next to the wheels, you can see those newer, Front rotors, those feel like they're brand new. Not even, not even a lip on the top of that rotor. And then you can see really not much for discoloration in there at all. We should have some recent service records in the auction uh, and I'll try and find out when those were replaced, but those are essentially new. Wheels, very good condition. Slight mark here. Very minor. High gloss on the insides. And then the polished lip with clear coat. All in really good shape. That leading edge behind the front wheel. Great shape. Really, really nice car. Rocker panels. It's really the same over and over across this car. Got nothing I need to point out to you along the door. Mirror caps. 
mirror like finish um, you can see what looks to be the original 3m what we would call a shark fin on a Porsche but uh, that 3m protective um, uh, protective film for rock guard it's in really good shape in and around the door handle no fingernail scratching that all looks great this is getting very repetitive uh, same thing with this rear wheel and then looking at this rear rotor same thing I can't even feel a smidge of a lip nothing there and then you can tell on more of the hub or the center of the rotor almost no discoloration or accumulation of uh, brake pad particles or some of that rusting you get from the brake pad particles it all looks very very tidy the paint on the calipers very clean in there that is a good sign there's that emergency brake caliper in the back Looking on that trailing edge here. Wow, that's in really good shape. So we're pretty repetitive here. The entire car, high gloss. Paint is in very, very good shape. I've got nothing I need to point out to you along this rear bumper. You know, sometimes you, it's very normal to see the scratches and little nicks and bumps. That wouldn't shock me at all, especially for a 2006, but I've got nothing really to point out here. The acrylic on the lenses, this is kind of a moot point. Emblems, fantastic. You can see the parking sensors in the rear here. All, all of it here on the back of the car looks fantastic. So, to speed the video up a little bit, I'm not going to get into showing you nothing. And these wheels, they look like very close to new. Same thing, those rotors look very much new to me. Uh, the calipers, no rock peppering, no nothing. They look fantastic. Same with that rear. Emergency brake caliper. Rock guard doing what it's supposed to do. Little nick here. If you can see that. Right there. Hard to see with all the metallic. There's a ton of metallic. Looks like it was probably the same here and here. Very hard to see. There's a ton of metallic in this paint as you can probably see. Which would hide something like that. But again, rockers, the doors, front wheel, and that rotor. Like I said, those are those have to be brand new. Okay, windshield. I see no chips. No cracks. There's your VIN. Windshield is very, very tidy. Pillington, there's your logo. So let's get into the interior. First off, the leather is in very good condition. That driver's bolster, just on the seam, a little bit of wear. These are very, very comfortable seats. Have the, very much the look of a winged sport seat that you'd see in Porsche. All leather seating surfaces. Classic Aston. Here's your emergency brake on the left-hand side. Your stainless plate. Oh, your name plate. The leather throughout the door panel, all really nice. I'm gonna say, I feel like perhaps there's a little bit of sun fading around here on the door panel as I certainly see that in the center stack. And when you look at the passenger side, 
Uh, it's hard to say. Surface wise, uh, no um, cracking, no degradation of the lacquer. And the same thing would go for that passenger side. I feel like some of that has worn off on this center stack. So you can see it seems a little bit faded on that side, but that's it. Everything else in the interior is spick and span, very, very tidy. Still has a beautiful mm, leather and, and I wouldn't say new car smell, but unadulterated, let's put it that way. In and around the rear here. I'm sure nobody's ever sat in those. Uh, no, uh, again, no degradation of any logos or icons on any of the buttons. All the buttons feel great, all of them work. I've tried the heated seats, I've tried the bolster, I've tried the power on the seats, and we'll go over that again in the driving video when we're out in the car. Uh, the Bluetooth connection works through the steering wheel. The motor on the screen does not work, so you'd have to manually pop up the screen. Um, we'll show you that in the driving video. Navigation works. Uh, the navigation discs are there. The six disc, cha six disc changer works the way it's supposed to. I was listening to some Adele. Don't judge. There's your dual miles per hour is the predominant and then kilometer per hour for uh, the secondary speed. Of course, Aston, classic. Speed goes one direction, your RPMs go the opposite of what you're used to in other cars. And both keys, let's move to the trunk. And in the trunk, we just put a new battery in the car. Trunk mounted umbrella, tire inflation kit, your navigation system discs, convertible top cleaner, a spare air uh, oil filter, and then your books or your book. Classic Aston, long and skinny. You'll see the history of service also in the Carfax. From when it entered Canada, it was serviced pretty regularly in Vancouver, both at Port Center Vancouver and then I think in later years at the Aston Martin dealer in Vancouver as well. Let me just pop the hood. We'll show you underneath there. Again, this is a US car. We are selling this out of Blaine, Washington with an Ohio title and with no reserve. Under the hood is every bit as tidy. Wrong hand in here. Wrong hand. Is every bit as tidy as the rest of the car. You can see some original tracking stickers that some dealers will put on these cars when they're new on the panels but under the hood extremely extremely tidy no signs of any kind of corrosion even from the air just super super clean the air conditioning blows ice cold what a tidy car all right there you have it okay now please click on our driving video where we will test out some of the power stuff. Actually, you know what? Let me look real quick. I'm going to throw the top up. I'm going to pause you right here. And here we are. We're back. So I've got the top up. Operates exactly the way it's supposed to. No surprises. Uh, a little hard to do on my own here. So we'll do that during the driving video. So please click on the driving video. But to show you the condition of the top, extremely good shape glass rear window with defrost 
Obviously this roof spends most of its time in the boot. No Canadian jokes. But the top looks fantastic and I'll just show you Headliner. Looks really good. So you've got that almost bone colored Alcantara towards the front that meets with the A pillars. They're almost also finished in the same. And then that same is carried throughout the rest of the car. All right, I will leave it there. As I said, please click on our driving video. We're gonna head out with the car now. So we are selling this car, no reserve. This is a US delivery car, delivered new in Florida. We are selling this out of uh, Blaine, Washington on an Ohio title. Clean Carfax, nicely serviced, beautiful condition. 2006 Aston Martin DB9 Volante in titanium silver over obsidian black. Thank you very much.